Hello and welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today I'm going to show you what I did last week. I managed to build a conveyor belt system and I want to show you how I did that. Yeah, let's don't waste any time and dive right into it. So the current state is that there's a tick manager. One tick is executed every 0 0.2 seconds. The funnel here executes every 10 ticks, so every 2 seconds if there is an item in it. So let's drag and drop an item in there. And there you go, this little scale indicates that something has happened. Now we want to add some kind of conveyor belt so we can connect this funnel with this comprimator. But there was one step that I had to do before I add the conveyor belt. I had to make sure that this funnel is kind of producer and this structure is a kind of consumer. So we have a producer and consumer relation here. The cool thing about that is that when I drag and drop an inventory item into our funnel, that the item is produced by the funnel and is directly consumed by this structure or received if you want it that way. This is indicated by this little scale event. Cool, so now that this is working, the next step is to actually model our conveyor belt in Magica Voxel. I then reused the shader from my hologram shader fail and it turned out to look quite good. And then my unity broke by compiling some shaders. Bruh. And now I have working conveyor belts. So have a look. I have here two sticks of wood and now I'm gonna drag and drop it in this funnel and let's have a look if this is working. Hooray! This is working. Of course the animation is not that great but it is working and I really, really, really love that this is working. It was much work. Let's see if we can make this more beautiful. But I think this is some stuff we have to do in the following week. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, then please hit the like button. If you have any suggestions, please comment down below. And if you do not want to miss any updates on this game, then hit the subscribe button. Bye.